Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to explain a 2017 Korean mystery movie called Resurrected Victim. This movie tells the story of a cold-hearted prosecutor who's obsessed with catching the man who murdered his mother. Seven years after her death, his mother suddenly appears at his home, comes back from the dead. But for some reason, she tries to kill him. What could be the reason? The story starts on a rainy day, a middle-aged woman is standing on the side of the road. She seems to be waiting for someone. Suddenly, a man on a motorcycle trying to rob her. The woman tries to fight back and hangs on her purse. She got dragged by the motorcycle until they both fall. The robber stands up, stabs her, then runs away, leaving her bleeding on the street. Not long after that, a man comes running to the scene. He is Jin Hong, a law school student. The woman turns out to be his mother, Myung Suk. He tries to save her but it's already too late, she dies on that day. She was waiting there to meet his son, to give him the money he needs and some food. Seven years later, he becomes a prosecutor. He is very strict, upholding the law as fair as possible. One day, his sister, Hee Jung, calls him. She asks him to immediately go home because his mother is there. She has a mental disorder, so he thinks that it is another of her episode. He calls Hee Jung's husband to check on her condition and then goes back home. At the front door, he sees a familiar sandal. To his surprise, his mother comes back from the dead. She acts normally, watching TV and preparing a meal. Not long after that, a pastor and some deaconesses are looking for Hee Jung. Inside, they see and recognize Hae Suk, that should be dead, standing in front of them. They are terrified by it and start praying to God. They start asking her a bunch of questions. Suddenly, the light starts to flicker and she attacks his son with a knife. The pastor saves him but he got stabbed in the hand. All of them try to hold her down until she suddenly faints. The ambulance and police came and they get transferred to the hospital. This incident makes the National Intelligence Service, NIS, reacts to it. They say that this incident is happening all over the world. The dead come back to life to take revenge. They call them Resurrected Victim or RV. This is the first case in South Korea. As long as they are still alive, that means they haven't taken on their revenge. After they have gotten their revenge, they will vanish. The NIS, police, and Jin Hong are trying to investigate this incident. The fact that his mother attacks Jin Hong makes them think that she wants to take revenge on Jin Hong. Jin Hong investigates the case further. The investigation result of his mother's murder is full of discrepancies. He manages to found a new witness that says there was another person responsible for the death of his mother. That person is Li Ching, the most wanted criminal in China. The police deploy a skilled detective to investigate, her name is Hie Jin. Her team found out that Jin Hong is the sole benefactor of his mother's life insurance. But she doesn't think that he will kill her for money. She comes to Jin Hong's sister to get more information but couldn't get any information other than the fact that Jin Hong's mother loves him so much. Jin Hong and his team found Li Ching in South Korea. They try to ambush him in a motel, but he fights back and stab one of Jin Hong's team. Li Ching tries to run away but Jin Hong chases him. While chasing Li Ching, he sees a little girl with whom he feels familiar. When he is distracted, Li Ching tries to stab him with a fork. The police come and shot Li Ching on his feet. They successfully arrest him. A scientist explains that usually, RVs happen when it is raining. When they go in to enact their revenge, a strong magnetic field is produced. The scientist talks with the mother in the old Hebrew language, revealing that she has come to take revenge and his son is the reason she died. Jin Hong took Li Ching DNA and matched it with the DNA on his mother's hand. It turns up a match, but the witness says there were two culprits, which means there is still one more unknown person. The detective found out that Myung Suk had another life insurance for nine years old Yoon Ji and his father. They both died in a traffic accident on the street near Jin Hong Live. The insurance was paid to her grandfather. While the detective is interrogating Li Ching, Jin Hong comes. He asks Li Ching the identity of the second person. He says that after he stabbed his mother and was just going to run away with the purse, he saw a weird man picks up the knife and stabs her furiously. The NIS come and take Li Ching. They take him to observe what will happen if they take him to the supposed to be dead Myung Suk since he is the killer. When they meet, the light starts flickering, all of the surrounding electronics become malfunctioned, caused by a strong magnetic field. She stands up and kills him. Right after that, she faints again. The NIS is relieved, thinking that it's all over now, she has fulfilled her revenge. 
They dump Li Jing's body at a river and bring Myung So to a forest. They are expecting her to vanish after killing Li Jing. But something unexpected happens. All of the car's light starts flickering. She rises from the wheelchair and disappears. On the other side, the detective and Jin Hong found a suicide note left by an ex-officer who worked near Jin Hong's home nine years ago. On the note, he told them that he was asked for help by a little girl from his drunken father. But he refused and told her that she will be okay. He left that little girl and hoped that she will be fine after her father woke up. One hour after that, Jin Hong's mother comes to him, driving a pickup truck. She bribed him with a large amount of money. She told him to take care of the truck, or if it's necessary, he just needs to tell them that she is the one who stole the truck. On the next day, he found the little girl, dead on the side of the road. He covered all of that just until recently. In his last week, the same little girl starts following him, hoping for his death. At the end of the note, he says that this has all happened because of Jin Hong. But, Jin Hong still doesn't understand why he is responsible for it. Not long after that, he calls his sister asking what happened that night. She tells him the detective is asking her the same thing. Then she tells her that on that night, he and their mom killed two people. He then goes to the place where he had a graduation party that night. He remembers that he was so drunk, that he unconsciously stole a pickup truck. He drove that truck home, but, on the way home, he got distracted by his phone and hit a little girl. He was drunk and drove the car so fast, he didn't even realize it. In front of his house, his mom and his sister realized that he stole the truck and found blood residue on the car's front lamp. His mom drove the car away and tried to find what happened. She found the body of a dead little girl on the side of the road. Suddenly, the little girl's father came, she realized what happened and tried to run away with the truck. The father chased her on his motorcycle, making her panic. She accidentally hit him and made him fall. He died because of it. Back to present time. He suddenly sees the little girl on a bus and tries to chase her in his car. But because he is too focused on chasing her, he hits an oncoming car and wrecks his car. He takes another car to chase her, a pickup truck filled with gasoline barrels. Not long after that he spaced out and hits another car, making him flips the car he drives. That little girl appears and tries to take her revenge, trying to set the gasoline-filled car on fire. Suddenly, his mother appears to stop her. But Jin Hong tells his mother to stop because now knows the truth and wants to take responsibility. He tries to walk into an oncoming lane to kill himself. His mother begs the little girl to forgive Jin Hong. Suddenly the pickup truck blows up and saves Jin Hong from the oncoming traffic. His mother and the little girl then vanish, not because they fulfill their revenge, but because they forgive Jin Hong. It turns out that his mother is not the first RV in South Korea. The little girl and his father are also an RV. His mother was killed by the girl's father because she was the one who killed him. At the end of the story, Jin Hong surrenders himself to the police. He feels responsible for all that has happened. He realizes how his mother loves him so much. The researcher finds something unique about this case, this is the only RV case where the RV forgives and stops their revenge. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you.